How to Be Orange, Chapter 20, Dutch Education, Race to the Middle. The quote. The Dutch education system is VMBO, HAVO, and VPRO. Overheard at an expat trade fair. My two Dutch American kids go to Dutch public schools, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Mostly because, having looked at the international schools, we couldn't afford it any other way. In terms of culture shock, it's been, shall we say, a learning experience. For a country with a reputation for liberalism and tolerance, Nederland's schools offered some odd first impressions, and some were spectacularly awkward. We quickly learned the difference between black schools and white schools. White schools are for white kids. Black schools are for, well, other. How can this be, I thought. Can it really be that the Dutch practice school segregation? Then it was explained to me by other Dutch parents. No, it's not segregated. There are white kids in the black schools. It's just that uh, I wouldn't want my white kids to join them. Okay, maybe not so different from America after all. In Dutch primary schools, there are some wonderfully politically incorrect rituals. When there's a birthday, I've encountered a song called Honky Punky Shanghai. This is a song to the tune of Happy Birthday, in which the teachers will make slanty-eyed faces and make the children join in singing Honky Punky Shanghai. Then there's the song about the boy who's so black he needs to carry a parasol in the sun. And don't get me started on Svarte Piet. One becomes sensitive to what the little ones are learning, especially when the teachers are making fun of your home country. My kids come home regularly with stories of their Dutch teachers making fun of Americans for overeating. While this is, of course, true, I think the jokes are my job. Thank you very much. During geography lesson, my daughter hears about how Americans don't know much geography. Tell that to Hillary Clinton or John Kerry. Once at my daughter's preschool, I was invited to sit in on song time for a sing-along of Birend Botje. There's a part at the end with the refrain, America, America. And since this was around the time America had just invaded Iraq, the teacher sang America with a big thumbs down gesture. She stuck out her tongue and encouraged the kids to do the same. I mentioned this to the teacher later. I said, you know, I'm from America. She said, I know. Don't get me wrong, I love Dutch schools. The price difference between public and private schools here is not as severe as in the U.S. It allowed us to choose a primary school in Amsterdam, which in America would be called Waldorf, and would cost thousands of dollars a year. Another positive is that there's not the disparity between rich and poor kids that I grew up with, and of course there's not the specter of school shootings that we have in America. But for me, one of the oddest cultural distinctions of Dutch schools it's that latent Calvinism that teaches children don't rock the boat. Yes, yes, the Dutch are a very tolerant people. As long as you do normal, just act normal, and it starts when they're young. My daughter started taking ballet lessons, and she was getting good at it. But she seemed to be experiencing some resentment, including from her teacher. I asked one of the other parents why this could be happening. I heard, hoge bomen fangen veel wind, or... The further you advance, the more resistance you get. It's literally, tall trees catch the most wind. In essence, the lesson seems to be, don't try. Next, it was at my son's school that I encountered the phrase, steek je hoofd niet boven het maifeld out, anders wordt die afgemaaid. Literally, don't stick your head too far out of the grass field, otherwise it will be chopped off. In America, we have phrases like, the squeakiest wheel gets the oil. In the Netherlands, they literally teach the kid, don't stick your neck out, or your head might be removed. So yes, the tolerant uh, Dutch are very free and open, but if you take any chances in life, you may be executed. This theme got really interesting when my daughter was offered a spot at the Dutch National Ballet Academy. To accept the spot, she would have to leave her class early and switch to a different school. My American family reacted with cheers. That's amazing. So proud. Awesome. My Dutch family reacted differently. 
oh, that sounds like a big change. And, oh, ballet, that's a tough field, isn't it? And are you sure that you parents are not just forcing your dreams on her? And yes, these are all questions that we had asked ourselves as parents, but the fact was our daughter had already spent so much time feeling underwhelmed by her old class. She actually demanded more challenging coursework, more stimulation, more education, so she moved. We still bump into the parents from the old school, and they ask about my daughter, how's it going with the ballet? At first, I would tell them the truth. It's fine. She's having a great time. And they would frown and shake their heads. And now I tell these Dutch parents, ooh, yeah, it's heavy. It's lots of work. It's really hard on her. And that's when they respond with a satisfied look of rueful concern. Clearly, this is a more satisfying answer for the Dutch. And who am I to rock the boat?